A lot of people love the idea of starting their own nursery or growing their own plants, even plants that they'll ultimately end up selling. But they don't know where to start. And one of the big problems with getting started is what plants do you start with? What plant can you grow? What plants can you grow that somebody would like to buy from you? In this video today, I wanna to give you three examples of plants that are perfect plants for you to start your own backyard nursery with, no matter the size of your yard, no matter the size of your space. These three plants are guaranteed to give you a great start in your nursery. If it's your first time visiting my channel, good to see you. If it's not your first time, good to see you again. Either way, I would love to have you subscribe and click that notifications button so you'll know when all of my new content comes out. When we're talking about plants that make great plants to have in a backyard nursery, what makes a plant a great plant to have in a backyard nursery? There are two or three things that you wanna look for. Number one is, is this plant hardy in my area? Now, what you don't wanna do is just have some plant in mind that you love and you think that everybody in the world should have, that doesn't necessarily mean that everybody else in your neighborhood or in your area wants it or that it's hardy in your area. For example, if you live in the northern United States somewhere, buying tropical hibiscus plants, no matter how much you like them, is not a good fit for your setup. Or maybe you're a lover of a particular plant. Well, just because you love it doesn't mean that it's going to be a great seller. Look around your area, drive through your community, drive through your towns. What do people have a lot of growing in their yards? Those are the plants that I wanna give you some examples of today. Another thing that you wanna look for in figuring out what kind of plants to start your nursery with is are they hardy? Like, is this plant pretty tough or is it gonna die easy if somebody doesn't take perfect care of it? The reality is, is that most people don't take perfect care of their plants. They pretty much plant them and forget them. So you don't want things that people are gonna be planting and coming back to you all the time saying, your plants died. So think about things that are hardy, that, they're, that are really tough in the winter, that come back every year, and even on, in some cases, if you ran over them with a lawnmower, they'd be okay. A third thing that you wanna look for in asking yourself, what plants do I wanna start my nursery with, is can I easily acquire these plants? You don't wanna be so specialized in something that you're trying to sell plants that you can't even find anywhere or that you can't propagate. Uh, the plants that I'm going to show you today are easy to either propagate or to acquire for a very reasonable price so that you can grow them up, sell them at a reasonable profit without a ton of trouble. A fourth thing that you wanna look for in plants for your backyard nursery is survivability over winter. Some plants don't thrive in a pot over winter and when it comes springtime, they're just dead and they don't come back out or they're very sluggish to do so. So the plants that I wanna to suggest to you today are plants that meet all of these criteria. They're hardy, they're easy to find, uh, they're more than likely going to be familiar in, their, in your area because these plants really thrive in a very wide range of climates and these all survive very well over winter in their pots, have very little trouble with viability come springtime. The first plant that I wanna show you today that you can start out with in your nursery is the Green Giant Arborvita. Now this Green Giant is just an example and it's a little bit small, but it can put on a few inches of growth in just a few weeks over the spring here. And this will be ready to sell in just oh, another month or two, but I've sold all of my larger ones this spring already. When, I'm, when I say larger, I mean in this size pot, maybe this tall or so. And the reality is, is that somebody would be glad to give me $6 for this plant today. But let me tell you why you need green giant arborvitas in your nursery. Green giants are a screening tree and people like to buy many of these at a time. And the benefit of selling many of them at a time is of course that when you're just selling one plant and then one plant and then one plant, yeah, you can make some money and move some plants. But when people are coming to buy five and 10 and 20 and more, plants at a time, you really can make money quickly. And the Green Giant Arborvita is an example of a plant that people really love to buy a lot of because they put them in a row down their property line or to mark off a busy street or to screen out a neighbor. And because of that, they never buy one. Green Giants can also be used as a specimen tree and you'll see people plant them just as a single tree here or a single tree there because they grow to such a huge size. They are beautiful as a standalone tree, but people almost never buy them, from me at least, that way. They buy quite a few of them at a time. The second plant that I would encourage you to use in starting your nursery is the Hosta. The Hosta is a shade-loving plant. People are always looking for plants they can put in the shade. They can obviously tolerate some sun 
as well. But the reason that hostas are such an amazing plant to have in your backyard yard nursery is because they're extraordinarily easy to care for. Um, they hardly ever die. Uh, people love them. They're beautiful. And they meet the criteria that I mentioned in the opening of this video. You can find these things almost anywhere. One of the really appealing things about hostas is they come in all shapes and sizes and colors. For example, here's just three of mine that I have, but I have you know, one that's green with a slight variegation around the edge of the leaves. Um, I have a much more kind of spectacular looking hosta here that has kind of a green and white leaf. And then I have a miniature hosta, the blue mouse ears hosta, very uh, popular plant but yet not commonly found but when people see these days they always buy them as many as I have so these survive over winter just hardly ever lose one over winter they're easy to propagate by division a closer up view of the hostas just shows you why you would want to have these in your nursery I mean they're just beautiful look at the variegation on those leaves on the blue mouse ears it's just a beautiful little plant and just a kind of a another variation here great great sellers i'm going to do another video on those and show you how to divide hostas at a later time in fact not just how to divide them but how to divide them for maximum numbers as a backyard grower but with the variety that you can get in sizes and shapes and colors of hostas they just make a spectacular plant for the backyard nursery so you need a screening tree you need a perennial plant that comes back every year that's easy to deal with like the hosta and then third, a third category of plant that you will love to have in your nursery is something that is edible. In this case, I have a triple crown blackberry. And the triple crown blackberry is a thornless blackberry plant. I actually have a triple crown blackberry bush growing back here on my fence that I take my cuttings from. They couldn't be any easier to propagate. Maybe the easiest plant to propagate there is. I mean, it's absolutely simple to propagate and make tons and tons and tons of these for free. Um, they are in one growing season. You can get them from a propagated cutting to a sellable size in one growing season. They're hardy as they can be. People love to grow some of their own food, especially in the days that we live in now with COVID and all the rest of the changes that have happened in recent months and years. Uh, people are clamoring to grow their own fruit, food. So triple crown blackberry is a great example. Uh, blueberries can be a great edible, raspberries, elderberries, a, a number of fruit trees can be great sellers. But I find of all of those, the easiest to deal with because of their ease and propagation and their hardiness is the thornless blackberry. There's a number of varieties of thornless blackberries that you can grow. But as far as I'm concerned, it's hard to beat the triple crown thornless blackberry. My hope for you today is that this video has been helpful in just giving you some examples of thinking about getting started with specific plants that you might use to start in your nursery. The arborvitas, the hostas, and an edible plant like a triple crown blackberry. Perfect plants to start your backyard nursery with. And good luck to you as you get going. I hope every one of you watching are having a great day today. This is Savvy Dirt Farmer signing off, and I'll see you next time.